Chlorine is the 17th element on the periodic table, and it is right below fluorine. Like fluorine, it is extremely reactive. It is a gas, and it is a pale yellowish green. It is slightly less reactive than fluorine because its atomic radius is larger, so it can't rip away electrons from other atoms as, as easily. What is very important about chlorine, at least for me, is that it can be easily chemically isolated from other chemicals, so I can actually make pure chlorine. The way this is done is by taking bleach, which is a dilute solution of sodium hypochlorite, and pouring some hydrochloric acid into it. You'll then get water, salt, and most importantly, chlorine gas. Chlorine gas was used as a poison gas in World War I because it is a very heavy gas, so if you let it out and the wind was blowing in the right direction, it would blow across the field into the enemy's trench, settle into the trench, and then their trench would be full of, full of chlorine. What happens if you inhale chlorine is that your body will actually generate, your lungs will actually generate a fluid and you'll end up drowning in your own fluid. So this was a very, very powerful poison gas. However, if the wind changed direction, then it would be used against whoever was letting it out. So about both, about equal numbers of people died on both sides of the chlorine. Okay, so right now I've got bleach in this beaker, and here I've got hydrochloric acid. I'm going to take this steel wool right here, heat it up in a propane torch off camera, squirt in the hydrochloric acid, generate chlorine gas, put the steel wool above it where the chlorine gas is coming, the hot steel wool above it where the chlorine gas is coming up, and then have it make iron dichloride and trichloride. Here we go. Okay, I've got hot steel wool, making chlorine. And it's making iron dichloride and trichloride. Now you can really see the solid precipitate of iron 2 and iron 3 chloride inside the Erlenmeyer flask. A lot of it came up as a gas or as particulate matter in the air. But once the iron dropped into the hydrochloric acid, because I had excess hydrochloric acid, then instead of reacting with the chlorine gas to form particulate iron chloride, it formed with the hydro it reacted with the hydrochloric acid to form hydrogen and solid iron two and iron three chloride. So there you can see the iron two and iron three chloride. It looks a lot like rust, which is iron oxide, but this is chloride.